Good morning, uh, everybody, and welcome again to uh, this Sunday service. This is your pastor, Dr. S.M. Chirisa, and with Pastor B. Um, I just want to say, uh, before we start, uh, we are going back on um, online services because of uh, the COVID situation in our country, Zimbabwe. And rightly so, we have to take the precaution to protect the flock and to make sure that uh, we give a chance to those who are in hospitals and, and um, so that they can recover and not overwhelm the system. So I really want to urge the church uh, to, to pay particular attention, make sure that they mask up, they sanitize, they maintain social distances. Please stay at home. Do not travel if there's no need for you to travel. So with that, shall we pray and open this uh, service. Father, we want to thank you once again for what you have done for us in 2020. When we want to thank you, Father, that you have brought us into 2021. And we are so grateful that we are alive and we are strong. Now I want to pray that even as we go through this year, Lord, you have prepared it for us. And we thank you that the steps of a righteous man are ordered of the Lord. I now pray for this service. I pray for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I pray that you may give me utterance to utter with, uh, with boldness the, the, the mind and the wisdom of God from your throne room. I pray that this word will go unhindered by any outside force in the name of Jesus, that this word will accomplish that which you have purposed for it to accomplish in the lives of your people. And everybody says... Amen. Um, one of the things that I also want to say, I really want to pass my sincere condolences to my friend, uh, Apostle B. Jawa, who lost his mother this morning. Uh, we are with you and we are praying for you. We pray that God may give you the strength to go through all this. And uh, we want to pray and continue to pray that this storm is coming to an end. So, church, um, Let's go then into uh, our service today. And I want to speak to uh, Wisdom City uh, members. Uh, so we are going to be online until further notice. All our programs are going to be online. So please check your social media communication in terms of our prayers. We're going to do them on Zoom. Uh, our meetings, we're going to do them online. And uh, other things that will be coming through. And uh, please continue to send your gifts and your tithes according to our protocol and procedure and the administration will help you. So let's go straight into the word of God. So today I'm going to be speaking to you a message that I was supposed to have delivered on Thursday, but because uh, those who were with us, you know what happened, uh, and uh, we had to comply with the law, so we are doing it today. So it's really my crossover message in which I wanted to uh, speak to the church and to speak to the people so that we can be established. One of the things that the word of God, uh, that God does, is that God, he always sends his word. The Bible says he sent his word uh, and it healed them. Uh, and and, and so, so before God does anything with men, he sends his word. So before God does anything with Wisdom City in 2021, God sends his word. And we have been dealing with, with this key scripture over the past two or three months. So it's nothing new, but uh, we had uh, something which was very specific that we wanted to do uh, as, the, as the year starts. So our anchor scripture uh, for, for, for our theme this year, which is the year uh, to shine, 2021 is the year to shine, is Isaiah 60 from verse 1 to 7. The, the book of Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1 to 7. So I shall read from the New King James Version. So it reads, Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, the deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. The gentiles shall come to your light, the kings to your brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around, and see, they all gather together. They come to you, your sons shall come from afar. Your daughters shall be nursed at your side. Then you shall see and become radiant, and your heart shall swell with joy, because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you. The multitude of camels shall come to your land. The dromedaries of Midians and Ephah, all those 
from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold, incense, and they shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. All the flock of Kedah shall be gathered together to you. The rams of Naboth shall minister to you. They shall ascend with acceptance on my altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Now, this is the word that the Lord has given to Wisdom City or to every person who is connected to the vision of Wisdom City. Now, one of the things that I want to make it very, uh, that the Bible makes clear is it starts that. It says, arise and shine, which means that for you, in order for you to shine, you must first arise. There is no way you can shine without rising. Now, it is so important for us to then go and understand what to arise means. Because a lot of people are happy about the, about the theme. They are happy about the proclamation. They are happy about the prophetic way that the Lord has given us as a church, as an individual. That God is, is, that 2021 is our year to shine. But for you to shine, you must arise. So if you go into the uh, Webster's Dictionary and find out what arise means. Now, now the word arise means that one must become apparent. One must make an appearance. One must emerge. One must turn up. One must come to the surface. One must spring up. One must come into the picture. One must come into being. One must come into existence. One must stand up. So it is very key in whatever you are doing, whether it is in ministry, whether it is in your education, whether it is in your job, in your enterprise, for you to see yourself shining according to the word of the Lord, you must arise. Which means that you must do things that put you into the picture. You must do things that cause you to emerge. You must do things that cause you to stand up. You are not just going to shine in 2021, yet you are just seated, yet you are just sleeping, and you are hoping that by some wonder, by some hook and crook, Things that will just happen from nowhere. What you need to understand that you have to arise. Are you hearing what I'm saying, somebody? You have to arise. I like what the message Bible then says. The same scripture, uh, especially the first verse, uh, Isaiah 60, uh, 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 verse 1. It actually says, the message Bible then says, get out of bed, Jerusalem. Wake up. So, so, so when it says arise, it is talking about you being waking up, waking up to your God-given reality, waking up to your gift, waking up to your calling, waking up to the agenda, waking up to the vision that God has given us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Waking up to, 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 your, to, to your area of gifting, to focusing on your area of gifting. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 it also means that you now have to excel in your current assignment. You have to excel in your current assignment. You have to excel in whatever you are doing. You must put a measure of excellence and say, what I'm going to do as an individual, what I'm going to do as a department, what I'm going to do in my company, what I'm going to do as a family, I'm going to push for excellence. I'm going to make sure that I shine. I'm going to arise from mediocrity. I'm going to arise from ordinary to extraordinary. This is our year to shine. The reason why God has given us this is that God has given us the empowerment, the force, so that it becomes easier than in other years for us to shine. Am I talking to somebody today? Am I talking to somebody? Now, the Bible then goes on to say, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Now, the reason for our shining in 2021, it is not because that we are smart, it is not because that we have done something, but it is because that the glory of the Lord has risen upon us. So what is the glory of the Lord? What is the glory of the Lord? What is it? What is it? We need to have an understanding what the glory is. Now, I'm going to just take you to maybe one or two scriptures, and especially Psalms 19 from verse 1 to 4. And it reads, the heavens are telling of the glory of God. And their expanse are declaring the works of his hands. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor, uh, nor are there words 
their voice are not heard. Their line have gone through all the earth and their utterance to the end of the world. Now, I want you to understand what the word of God is saying here. It is saying that when you go outside and you look at the stars and at the moon, at the filaments, at the galaxy, at the Milky Way, at all those uh, 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 discoveries that we are saying, those discoveries are telling us of the glory. They are declaring the glory of the Lord. So what is the glory of the Lord? The glory of the Lord is the beauty that emanates from the being of God. So what God is saying is that in this year of 2020, I am arising, I am bringing myself, my being, I am bringing, I am bringing my influence, the influence of God's power on an individual, the influence of God's creativity on an individual, on a family, on a business, the influence of God's ideas, God's wisdom, God's knowledge, uh, God's work of his hands. I am bringing it, I am bringing it on your life, I am bringing bringing it in your family. I'm bringing in whatever you are executing. I'm bringing it into ministry. And when that happens, that is the glory of the Lord. It is the reflection of the inner intents of God concerning his people. That's what has risen upon us, ladies and gentlemen. That's what has come on this house. That God intent, God intentions, God creativity, God's ideas, God's uh, 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 glory, God's power is being unleashed on you in 2021. Are you hearing what I'm saying, somebody? Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why people go and, and pay and do cruises for Sunset Cruise. What are, they, what are they seeing? They are seeing the glory of God. They are seeing the mind, the, the idea, the imagination of God. So the glory of God is the influence of the inner beauty of the intent and of the nature of God coming upon you. And that in itself is power. It is an empowerment to cause you to shine. And so you are not rising because of your own power. You are not going to shine because of your own ability. But you're going to shine because of God's ability on your ability. You are going to shine because of God's supernatural power and influence on your natural man and being. But we are getting this because of God working in us. As we go through that scripture, we also see, and it, it also continues to say, For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will rise over you. I think it is very important for us to then see why we are going to shine. Now you are going to shine brighter because of the level of darkness that is going to come around and that is already around the world. Now Jesus called the, the, the darkness that we are seeing in Isaiah uh, 6 to verse, uh, uh, verse 2, um, you know, is, 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 is the trouble that the world is in. If you look right now, the world is in trouble. As in Africa, as in Zimbabwe, the world is in trouble. Look at the, how corona is ravaging the southern parts of Africa, in Zimbabwe, in South Africa. Look at the natural disasters. A few weeks ago, a few days ago, we had the cyclone Shalane, uh, which just passed through and did not destroy as much as cyclone it died last year. But we are still within that cycle, uh, uh, a cyclone season. The natural disasters. The evil, so so darkness represent evil that is happening in the earth and also in the people on the earth. So I want you to see there are two evils here. There are two darkness. The Bible says that there's darkness on the earth. Then there are darkness covers the people. Two darkness. Darkness on the earth and darkness covering the people. So the darkness that is happening is, is, is the evil. And Jesus, in Matthew chapter 28, verse 7 to 8, which reads, For nations will rise against nations, kingdoms against kingdoms. There will be famines. There will be pestilences. Uh, the, the word pestilences, it actually means fatal epidemic diseases. And corona actually is a pestilence, according to the scripture. It's a pestilence. 
and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. This is what Jesus says. All this is the beginning of sorrows. Now, if you go into the NLT uh, chapter verse 8, it will say, all this is only the first of the birth pains with more to come. Woo! So I want to say to you, Wisdom City, that do not be disturbed with the darkness that is covering the earth and that is coming upon the people. It was prophesied. It's prophecy. It's biblical prophecy coming to pass. And it is prophecy that Jesus prophesied in Matthew chapter 28 that these are birth pains. So if we saw darkness last year, we are, all, we, are all, we are going to see more darkness this year. We are going to see more things that are at greater magnitude. That's why the, 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 the new coronavirus is more virulent. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because it's, 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 it's more, it's, it's greater. More and more is coming according to the scriptures. So do not find it as if it's strange when things are dark on the earth and in people, joblessness, uh, all these killings, all these shootings, all these, uh, uh, you know, senseless fightings that we see. What you need to understand is that wherever there is darkness, uh, uh, darkness authorizes demonic activity. That's why when God was creating the earth, when he was reconfiguring the earth, the first thing that he said in Genesis chapter, uh, uh, chapter, three, uh, 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 chapter 1 verse 3, he said, let there be light. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let there be light because whenever there is darkness, a demonic activity are at, at freedom to operate. And to, and to affect the people and the place. That's why there was chaos. So what God needed to do, he was supposed to bring his light. Because whenever there is light, darkness decreases. Darkness flees away. Are you hearing what I'm saying, somebody? So remember this. So the people, the, wherever there is darkness, there is increased or there is demonic activity. So the Bible is saying in Isaiah 60 that the, the, world, the world is full of darkness. The people are full of darkness. What does it mean? It means there is increased activity of demonic activity that brings pain, sorrows, and is just the beginning. But the Bible is saying, and, and, and so if you go to the verse, it actually says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But, that but is so important. That but is so important. Somebody say but. So the word but, it says but the Lord shall rise over you. The word but, if you are in an English, uh, it means that because of the glory of the Lord rising upon you, you are not going to participate in the darkness which is covering the earth, in the darkness which is co covering the people. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So even in 2021, yes, darkness is covering Zimbabwe. Darkness is covering Africa. Darkness is covering the people. But, but, as for me, there is a but. The Lord has risen upon me. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And because of that glory, because of the mind of God, because of the power of God, because of the wisdom of God, because of the anointing of God, because of the ideas of God, but it causes a but, which means that I am not just another story. I am not participating in the darkness. The darkness is not coming to me because the Lord has risen upon us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So I am here to encourage somebody who has been discouraged by the darkness that is around you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But I want to say to somebody that the darker the environment, the brighter your star will shine. It's easier for you to shine when everything around you is darker. So we are not participating in the darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So the, the, the result of that glory Rising upon you is this, the Gentiles shall come to your light. So people will start to seek you, start to seek your face, start to seek your solution. People shall come to seek your wisdom. Kings shall come to your light. It means nobody, can I say something? Nobody cares about a mango tree if it doesn't have fruit. Nobody cares about a mango tree when it doesn't have mangoes. 
But when it starts to shine, when it starts to bear fruit, when it starts to produce what it was intended to do, everybody starts to come to the mango. You are going to become a shining star. You are going to become an attraction. Your life is becoming an attraction. Your business is becoming an attraction. Your ministry is becoming your attraction. Your voice is becoming your attraction. Your gift is becoming your attraction because the the, the result of God arising above you is that people have to come to your light. The abundance of the sea shall come to you. It means that the hidden things, if you go into the sea, the, it, it has the greatest number of animals. It's got, there's more water on earth than, uh, than land. There are so many, so much diversity in the seas. New uh, animals are being discovered now, but the Bible says that the abundance of the sea shall come to you. What am I saying? It means that the riches that have been, uh, uh, been covered for such a long time, things that you do not see, things that you do not think you could reach, but in this season, when God's glory has risen upon you, when you are surrounded by darkness in the earth, darkness are among God's people, but but because of his glory, that abundance that you did not think you could reach to, that abundance and levels that you thought you could not reach, in this season, God is saying, I'm going to do it. And the reason why God is doing it when there's so much darkness is because he wants you to know that it is not you. It is him. It is him who is doing it. So gold is coming. Wealth is coming. Cash is coming. What a year we've got in front of us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This has got nothing to do with the shutdown. This has got nothing to do with the lockdown. That has to do with the darkness covering the earth. That has got to do with the darkness covering the people. But as for me, the glory of the Lord has risen upon me. It's my year of shining. My shining cannot be prevented by what is happening outside. My shining cannot be prevented by the level of darkness. I have to shine because I am the light of the world. And this year is our our year of shining. Are you hearing what I'm saying, somebody? So, no matter what, you are going to shine. No matter what, you are going to shine. Am I talking to somebody? So, what we need to do for us to shine, is especially when you are coming from an African background, you have to pray. You have to pray, especially against uh, uh, the spirit of witchcraft. And, and, and I said the last Sunday when we were at church that uh, witchcraft is any form of craft or science that desires to change your destination and to change and to alter your destiny. But so one of the things that we need to pray for three things and four things that we're going to pray for today is that we're going to pray against the spirit of witchcraft. Because a lot of Africans, because of our background, because of our ancestral worship, because there's somebody close to you who is uh, in witchcraft and doing witchcraft and things like that. Now, the Bible then says in Numbers 23, verse 23, there is no sorcery against Jacob, neither is there divination against Israel. And now must be said of Jacob and of Israel, Oh, what the Lord has done, and this shall be your portion this year, that there is no witchcraft, there is no divination, there is no agenda from the pit of hell which shall stop you from shining. Am I talking to somebody? Are you hearing what I'm saying? So I want you to divorce yourself from any spirit of witchcraft that might be operating in your life, in your family, over your finances, and say, I reject it. Speak the blood of Jesus over it and say, I cover every part of my being with the blood of Jesus. I sprinkle the power of the blood. I dismantle every, every spell that has been spoken with my name in it. Whoever mentioned my name and in a spell, in an, any incantation, in any provoking and evocation of demonic spells, spirits on graves so that they can come and haunt and hunt and hinder and stop me from shining. We dismantle, we hinder them totally powerless, we hinder them totally useless this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Any demonic attachment and we div totally divorce you today in the name of Jesus. So you need to make such prayers in your own life. Make those declarations over your finances, over your family, over your health, over your marriage, over your kids. We dismantle every power of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. The second thing that I want us to pray for is what I call health prayers. Health prayers. 
as you know, we are in a health crisis. And that health crisis will soon bring an economic crisis. But I want you to uh, pray that God can see you through. Last year, I was attacked with COVID. I almost lost my life. But because of health prayers, I was able to come through strong, fit, and I'm here alive because of this kind of prayers. I call them health prayers. So they are based on the word of God, Exodus 23, verse 25. So you shall, it reads, so you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So the Lord, his job as we serve him, as we serve him, as we praise him, as we worship him, he takes away sickness out of your midst. So, so as we pray, we then pray that I am serving the Lord. My house is serving the Lord. My business is serving the Lord. My body is serving the Lord. My environment is serving the Lord. My house is serving the Lord. And because I'm serving the Lord, sickness is being taken away out of my life. So I refuse to die from sickness in the name of Jesus. You can also quote First Peter chapter 2, verse 24, which reads, Who himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that he, we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes we are healed. So you can start to declare that by his stripes I am healed. By his stripes, health is my portion in 2021. These become your prayers and your declaration. I will not die, but I will live. Health is my inheritance. Cancer is being taken away from me. Uh, unauthorized bacteria are being removed from my body. Unauthorized viruses are leaving my body. Foreign diseases are dying in my body right now in the name of Jesus. You have to pray these kind of prayers, child of God. Remember, darkness is covering God's people. Darkness is covering the earth. And we have to come out with the light of the word of God. So we come again as darkness. We start to shine as we speak the word of God. So one of the things that I pray for the church is that may there be health. May there be no early death. May you not die before your time. In the name of Jesus, may you grow gray hair. May you see your children, children. May it be the inheritance of the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But sick and sickness is taken away from you when you serve the Lord. Are you serving the Lord that it makes sense for God to save you from sickness through your serving? Does your serving invoke God to save you from death? Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want to serve God in 2021 that when I'm about to die, God will say, no, this man is, can't die now. He's serving me too much. Your serving of God must make a statement in the heavens. The heavens must cry when you're about to die when there's a disease on your body. That Lord, this one cannot come now. Serve him. Let sickness be removed out of his midst. Am I talking to somebody? The third prayers that I want you to pray this year are what I call wealth prayers. Wealth prayers. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter, 18, uh, chapter 8 verse 18. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the power to get wealth. And some people say that wealth is bad. If, why would then God give you the power to get an evil thing? It does not make any sense. The Bible says every good gift comes from, the, uh, from God, the Father of life, in whom there is no turning, uh, uh, shadow of, of in his turning. So why would God give you the power to get an evil thing? So wealth is not evil. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Wealth is not evil, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore to the fathers as of this day. So I want you to start to pray that today in 2021, I receive power to get wealth. I receive the mindset to get wealth. I receive the ideas to get wealth. I receive the favor to get wealth. I receive the anointing to get wealth. Favor to make me wealthy is on me and is coming from me from all directions. Even my own enemies are favoring me. The Bible then goes on to say in Proverbs 10 verse 22, the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich and adds no sorrow with it. So you go on to declare that I am blessed. 
that the blessing is making me wealthy. The blessing is making me rich. The blessing is not adding any sorrow with it. I am handling so much resources. I'm handling more cash, more land, more houses, more wealth. These are what we call wealth prayers. You have to release them, child of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Then last but not least, remember I had given an instruction that you need to write your goals for 2021. And you need to start to declare them. So you need to start to declare your goals for 2021. Shout them out. Go item by item. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says in Isaiah 7, verse 10 to 12, God spoke again to Ahas. This time he said, ask for a sign from your God. Ask anything. Be extravagant. Ask for the moon. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But I said, I, never, I will never do that. I will never make demands like that to God. So God has given us the ability to shine in 2021. And the God is saying to us, this is the moment you can ask for anything. I will give you anything that you ask. He even says, even if you ask for the moon, I will give it to you. And I said, I will never ask that from the Lord. <laughs> Not me. When God opens the door for me to ask, when God tells me that I am shining, I am putting in my all. I'm putting my greatest demand. God, give me that moon. God, give me those planets. God, give me my own son. God, give me hundred million dollars. God, give me a mega church. God, give me influence. God, give me health. God, give me, let, my, let, let 2021 be my year of shining. I will not put breaks. Some people will come to you that you are declaring your things, that you are declaring they are too high. They are too dangerous. They are out of this world. They cannot be achieved while you are in Africa. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But I'm here to announce to you that the Lord has spoken not to us this time, but the Lord has spoken to Wisdom City. The Lord has spoken to Dr. SM and he is saying, Ask for anything from me. Be extravagant. Do not limit to your own power. Do not make prayers and have faith for things that you can do by yourself. But you must know that the Lord has risen upon you. What's making it happen is not you. What's making it happen is not your family that you came from. What is making it happen is not your location. What is making it happen is me, the Lord, who has risen upon you ask for the moon and i will give you to this year so this year we are asking big things and i'm calling you to ask big things don't write small things ask big things be extravagant for the lord has spoken and he has said that 2021 is your year to shine and i want to declare to you wisdom city that surely in 2020, when the Lord declared, it's our year of new beginnings. We saw new beginnings from January up to December. I've got testimonies of new beginnings, new jobs, new places of travel, a new, new car, new position, new everything, new church venue, new, we saw what the Lord promised despite the darkness which was covering the earth. And covering the people. And same as in 2021. Same as in 2021. The Lord has spoken. It's your year to shine. So you are shining. Despite all that is happening around you. And I now decree. May you shine. May you shine, of, may you shine the brightest. You have ever shown. In all your life. May you be extravagant. In the things that you put a demand on the glory of the Lord. There's nothing too difficult for him. So welcome to the year of shining. Do not look at the darkness. The darkness is there. You can't do anything about the darkness. But God is doing something about you. About anything that concerns your life. So you are shining in your ministry. You are shining in your business. You are shining in your family. And that's our inheritance. And that is the word of the Lord concerning us. Rabo shihamaka sihamaka. So shall the Lord accomplish it. So shall the Lord do it. It shall start even now in January and it will end in December. This is the year 
for you to shine. May God bless you. May God reward you. May God make you shine in the year of shining. And I urge you, as you connect with this, please send your love offering. Connect with the seed. Uh, sow what you need to sow as you connect with this anointing for 2021. God bless you. See you uh, tomorrow as we make our prayers at 6 o'clock online.